So in today's video, I have for you guys a very overdue styling video, and I've been meaning to film one of these on the channel for quite some time, but I thought what better time than any to sit down and talk through the tips and styling inspiration for how to look expensive and classy during these winter months. And I know when it comes to looking expensive, some people might have their thoughts on it. Why on earth does it matter to look this way? And obviously this is a personal style preference, but for me personally, I do believe the old adages of first impressions count, dressing for the job that you want, not for the ones that you have. Your outfits is the first way that you do that. And it can give you a lot of confidence outwardly as well. And I often feel that, you know, at any point in the year, how you look is a reflection on how you feel on the inside. But how do you actually do that when the weather is incredibly chilly, when the elements are coming at you and you just want to be comfortable? So that's why today I wanted to share with you my personal style rules and some inspiration that will hopefully help during these months for how you can look classy without breaking the bank, how you can show off your physique without bearing it all during these months, how will you know what works for your body? And ultimately, how do you look stylish without compromising on comfort? So in terms of the structure of this video, I'll be sharing with you my own personal styling tips during these chillier winter months. And then I'll bring that to life by sharing with you six different outfits that I've pulled together from my wardrobe. So let's get started with these styling tips. And the first one that I have is around your footwear because I personally think that your shoes can make or break an outfit. Because even if you have the most stunning things happening up top, if you don't pick the right footwear for your outfit, that perfectly complements, as well as gives you the comfort that you need, you are just not going to look the part at all. You're not gonna feel the part. Especially during winter months, it can feel so tricky to find shoes that are stylish as well as being comfortable that can also brave the elements. Which is why I want to share with you a brand that I have discovered quite recently. Some of you may have heard of it, for some of you it may be new, but it's a brand called Vivaya. So I've got three pairs of shoes to share with you from Vivaya, but in case you haven't heard of the brand before, they're essentially a stylish and sustainable, eco-friendly footwear brand. They've been established since 2020 and they've been creating shoes that are not just stylish and comfortable, which is obviously one of the big factors and the reason for today's video, but also that is good for the planet. Just to quickly recap what they are, we have the Aria block heel in the beige. I picked this one because I absolutely love the simplicity of it. It's a neutral. I believe this will go with absolutely anything that I wear. It's very uncontroversial. It's a nice basic item that won't steal the show from that won't steal the show from my other wow item but it does have an interesting block heel which I personally really really like a very nice interesting touch to what would otherwise be a more plain or basic shoe I also personally love pointed toe shoes especially in this season because it just really elongates the foot so this is a real favorite especially if you are going to work I think this is a great work shoe as well as casual shoe as well because it's a bit more of a blocky heel it honestly feels like you are walking on a cloud next up we have the serena kitten heel and i've got them in this monochromatic black and white colorway these are very reminiscent of chanel and dior style shoes i think even for dior in particular the jadior style shoe with the kitten heel is super similar but obviously a fraction of the price and i actually prefer the fact that it has no logos and it's in a classic print but i personally think that with this design at the front on the toe and with it being a pointed heel as well and not a rounded toe, it's super elegant and it still elongates your leg in this shorter heel height. I love the bow detail. I think it's such a cute touch. And you know, if you do have a more plainer outfit, these can be your little bit of wow touches and accessorization at the bottom. And then finally, I have the Rebecca Pro sock boots. These are in the, I think, burgundy color. I believe they have specific names for colorways, so if I'm getting the wrong apologies, they are perfect in terms of really elongating, accentuating your legs there, as well as keeping you warm because they are very, very comfortable. It does feel like you are wearing socks, essentially, and you do not feel the heel at all. It feels like wool, even though it's plastic bottles, and they retain the heat in, but your feet don't sweat. I personally have, for example, my Stuart Weitzman, I think they're called the Midland boots, 
but they can often feel a little bit sweaty if it's not TTMI because it is like a leather and suede material. This, however, is super, super breathable and there's no smell, there is no moisture that is created when you wear these. They don't have like a rubbing effect either when you walk. I believe they do different heel heights as well. So they do a flat one, this mid one, and maybe a little bit higher if I'm not mistaken. And they also do different heights of the actual sock boot themselves and they do Chelsea boots. So there is literally something out there for everybody. I personally am very picky when it comes to my video partners, when it comes to my collaborations. I only share brands that I truly believe in that I personally use. And so it's only after a lot of trials with these shoes, putting them through the ringer that I believe that they are perfect to integrate into today's video because I do believe they sit at a very unique intersection point of all the factors that we've mentioned that are important in looking classy and expensive on a budget. They are comfortable, they are high quality, they're super luxurious, they're incredibly stylish, but they're also really inexpensive, which is often super difficult to find in luxury brands. That's what I think is one of Vivaya's biggest USPs is that all of their products are made with recycled materials and 3D printed technology. And I had to really do a double take when I read on their website that each of their pairs of shoes is made up of at least six plastic bottles, which would otherwise be littering our cities or our oceans. And that is absolutely incredible. You'd have no idea from looking at the texture, from feeling it, that this was anything compared to plastic bottles. It is so soft and they're also able to be molded to any kind of foot shape. So I personally have a little bit of a wider foot. It's usually a little bit of an issue for me to find luxury footwear that will be able to be comfortable. I personally had no issues when it came to sizing and also comfort. It's just incredible that they are actually leaving a positive footprint on our planet when so many luxury brands, fast fashion brands, are doing the complete opposite. Another amazing USP to mention is that these shoes are incredibly easy to clean. Some of them are even machine washable. That is great when you are braving the elements outside to know that your shoes will not be damaged in the long term, that you just pop them in the wash, or just give them a quick wipe and they will be good to go. In fact, some of the shoes actually, I believe this pair of the Rebecca Pros that I have are even water resistant. I've seen the water tests online and it is just incredible that they can withstand. One of the biggest anxiety points that I have when it comes to living in a country like the UK, and in fact, we can just try this live right now. I've got a bottle of water and we can just test on this pair of Rebecca shoes how they do. They are just, it is literally just slipping off. You can see the water is just staying on the boot. And I just love a lot of the small details of Vivaya from the packaging, the little measuring tape that you get inside so that you can make sure that you have the perfect fit from the different arrays of styles, colorways, heel heights. You have a lot of testimonials and reviews. Their customer service is also impeccable and a lot of their social media as well shows different ways to styles. And I love that you can also buy from this brand guilt-free because it is sustainable and eco-friendly. And actually I'll just cover sizing really quickly as I know that might be a question for a lot of you out there. They have a really comprehensive sizing chart on their website, so I definitely go ahead and consult that. And also, you know, they have a really good customer service, so you can feel free to give them your measurements and what kind of shoes you typically wear. I settled on the size 5.5 or 38.5 European, and they have worked out the best for me. And if you're really in between sizes, I would personally suggest you size half a size up if that is possible. They of course do free exchanges and returns, so you can always feel at ease in terms of, you know, getting the right fit in the end. And these shoes, by the way, all of them are, I think, under 150 British pounds. I think for the price point and the quality that you get and the crazy amount of styles that they have on their website, there is something there for everybody. And that is why I thought it is worth mentioning Pavia in today's video because looking expensive on a budget is hard enough as it is, especially when it comes to footwear. And Pavia was kind enough to give me a discount code to share with you guys. So I'll either put it on screen or in the description box below. So definitely do check that out, especially ahead of Christmas. I think it would make the perfect gift either to yourself or to others. So the next styling tip that I have is around 
understanding your basic items versus the wow items in your wardrobe. The basic are items that complement something else that I guess give the limelight to your wow items, which are ultimately the star of the show, the focal point of your outfit. When I think about classy, expensive outfits, there's not loads of things going on. There's like one, maybe two items that are the stars of the show and the rest of it just complement it. We're going to wear several items and you don't want those items to clash if they all have, you know, a bold print or colorway or material texture, anything like that. You know, you don't want it to look too busy and therefore I suppose cheapen your outfits. And this moves us on very nicely into my next styling tip and that is around being intentional with layering. I think this is obviously something that is a given in winter chilly months that we're going to wear multiple layers but you don't want those to be clashing with each other so making sure that you have complementary items instead of conflicting items is going to be so so important and so definitely consider complementary colors or textures hardwares things like that are really important when it comes to pulling together classy outfits and this segues nicely into my next styling tip which is all about keeping things minimal so i know this can be a personal style preference obviously if you like wearing bold things you can go ahead but at least when it comes to the classy and elegant expensive looking outfits i personally steer away from big logos or clashing logos bold colorways, crazy prints, crazy textures. And I like to go for simple, minimal, uh, refined and understated outfit pieces and accessories. And that is why you'll see a lot of neutrals being leveraged, a lot of plainer items of clothing, because it really allows the outfit to speak for itself without being gaudy, without being over the top. And I do believe less is more when it comes to styling in winter. There are so many layering of items already happening. You don't want it to look too busy and chaotic and not thought through. You know, they might have a small pop of color, but on the whole, they are neutral in the color palette. It usually complements every complexion. And so I think universally it is a very classy look to go for. And now moving on to perhaps the most important styling tip of all, and that is a focus on quality rather than quantity. Because I do believe the type of fabric, the type of cut, the colorways, etc., they are all so important in creating an elegant wardrobe that will last you a long time. And so with that in mind, I would personally steer very clear of fast fashion, cheaper fabrics like polyester, viscose or modal fabrics, and instead go for natural fibers like cotton or silk wool and cashmere and not all of that will break the bank especially when it comes to cotton or wool blends you can find some really good inexpensive brands and pieces that will look really really high fashion so obviously there are exceptions to every single rule but on the whole there is still a rule and i believe going for those natural fibers just look more expensive they look more elegant and they'll make you feel that way as well they won't also just dissipate after two washes and when it comes to finding brands that are stocking these natural fibers, you don't always have to look high end or luxury. You can find a lot of good lower end or even high street options. And I personally think at least when it comes to footwear, Vivaya is a really affordable brand to look at when it comes to long lasting, sustainable and stylish options. They're very easy to maintain. They're very high quality, super sustainable and really inexpensive. So they can be more easily replaceable if you were to need to, though they are very long lasting, than, you know, a pair of Chanel shoes or Chanel jumper, which if you were to ruin it, there is no saving that. And you've just spanked, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of pounds on those items. Now onto my next styling tip, which is all about the fit. You've got to really understand your body shape, body type, and ensure that all your items complement your body. They're not too tight, they're not too loose. They create, I suppose, universally, an hourglass silhouette that elongates your legs, 
gives you that snatch waist and emphasizes your natural femininity. That means a lot of mid-rise or higher waisted trousers and skirts. And I think in winter especially, it is such a hard balance to strike because we all want to go with looser fitting and therefore comfortable items. And so you see a lot of people gravitating towards items that are pretty baggy, if I'm being honest, that are frumpy, super loose, that they just want to throw on and be done with it. But I think that is such a disservice to do to yourself figure just under the guise of convenience. So actually a nice kind of follow on styling tip is to completely avoid sportswear, activewear or loungewear. And amongst the most common worst offenders are the hoodies, the joggers, the leggings, the yoga pants, all those items people want to go for because they are comfortable, but they do not look elegant or stylish at all. Classy and expensive looking outfits do not have these items because they do absolutely nothing for your figure or for your image. It is lazy, frankly. And so there is no way that you're going to exude the confidence that I'm sure we would all like in our daily lives with a wardrobe that is basically making you look like a couch potato, like you have given no effort. You'd be so surprised around the amount of, you know, trousers and skirts and tops that actually are made of quality fabrics, great cuts that are not super tight or uncomfortable. So definitely do not think that the only way that you can be comfortable is with casual activewear, sportswear. And so bringing all these to life, my next tip is around, I suppose, using the rule of halves. So what do I mean by this? Let's say on top, if I wanna wear something that is a little bit looser fitting, not ill fitting might I add, but something that's a little bit loose fitting, so let's say an off shoulder jumper or maybe a turtleneck or something, that's, then I will balance the top half, which is a bit more looser and chunkier with something that is a little bit more form fitted on the bottom. And so examples of this could be form fitting trousers or pencil skirts, and they may also be a little bit shorter just because the top is a little bit more heavy, maybe it's longer sleeve, then I will juxtapose and offset that with something a little bit more form fitted and potentially a little bit shorter in length. And in contrast, what you don't want is something that drowns you up top and on bottom that covers you completely up, does nothing for your figure, or something that makes you look very, very cheap, if I may say so, in terms of like a strappy top that's super revealing or, and a bottom that is super short and revealing as well. So so it's a hard balance to strike, it takes a little bit of practice, but I think if you have something tight form fitting on top or bottom, you should balance that with something that is the opposite. And I believe having the shoes to match as well, if you have, you know, a shorter skirt, you know, to fill in that kind of dead space and also to avoid being cold, you might want longer boots like these Rebecca Pros, for example, and that also covers you but hugs the leg and gives that really nice elongated leg effect. On the other hand, if you have more flowing trousers or a longer skirt, you might want to go for something like the Serena kitten heels, you know, balance that with a longer skirt or longer trousers, but it gives you just enough height there. And it also gives you something interesting in terms of the print. And my final styling tips, just to end off the fashion rules portion of this video, is actually, I think, a quote from Coco Chanel or Gabrielle Chanel herself and that is when you look in the mirror potentially take one item away from that outfit i do believe sometimes less is more especially when it comes to winter it can be very tempting to layer on more and, and even if it's just as small as taking away an extra ring a bracelet a necklace or even a hat the wow item will speak for itself it doesn't need so much more accessorization if that's a word on top of that so these are my general styling tips for how to look expensive during these winter months. Now let's actually get into some style inspiration. And like I mentioned, I have six outfits to share with you just to bring all of these to life a little bit more. And I'll start actually with the one that I'm wearing now. All right, so now for the styling inspiration portion of this video, I'll put you guys a little bit further back so we can truly appreciate the outfits. I'll also do full body shots as obviously you cannot see my feet. But we're starting, of course, with the outfit that I've been wearing in the main portion of this video. And we have this gorgeous cape sleeve top. And it's a very simple top, very simple neckline. But something interesting going on in terms of sleeves and also great coverage for chilly weather. And I've just got this high-waisted pair of, 
I suppose like wide leg trousers and I think the colors are beautiful together. I got these pieces actually together in a store in Seoul. I believe it was called Pinwheel if I'm not mistaken. Obviously I appreciate it's not the most accessible but I'm sure there are so many other brands that are out there that will do similar styles of tops. Certainly Reese's and Joseph's of the world may do similar things. So this outfit brings a lot of the styling tips that I have to life. We've got obviously neutral and minimal details here in terms of the colorway, in terms of the fabric. Well, we don't have everything too covered up because yes we do have cape but we do also have arms that can be exposed as well and it's also super form fitting I've tucked in the top to give the hourglass shape and the trousers as well skim the leg really really nicely and I think the shoes also bring the look together super well very simple accessories I'll be using them throughout obviously you can put like another little necklace or something like that you can put more rings on different earrings etc but I think keeping it minimal, keeping it simple is really, really important and letting the top speak for itself because I do think that the top with the cape detail is the standout wow detail. And I do think it's the perfect outfit for a fancy dinner out of the weekend. And it looks super expensive, even though it wasn't at all. I believe these items from Pinwheel must have been like £60 each or something like that equivalent. And obviously the Vivaya shoes as well are incredibly inexpensive. So you really can look super elegant and expensive without paying that expensive price tag. Next up, we have the perfect outfit for a casual coffee date or for weekend plans where you want to stay comfortable and have layers. We have a off-white or cream jumper dress which forms the I suppose base layer of this outfit and then we have over top a belted cardigan which is in a similar kind of off-white and cream color not exactly the same in terms of the texture though and obviously the shape and the chunky knit and then we have this belt here this Hermes Kelly belt to cinch in, add a little bit of color as well. And then we have to finish it all off the Aria pump with the clear heel as well, which is so nice and really gives you long legs when you actually look at this from afar and obviously gives you that hourglass shape with the cinched in belt. I think the turtleneck is really nice to break through the cardigan as well. So there's something interesting going up on the neck. And then you obviously have the coverage up top, but then using the rule of halves, then the bottom has a little bit more skin in terms of the legs as well. And I think the shoes, the Aria pumps are perfect to kind of elongate the legs. As is a theme throughout all the outfits, all of these elements are very inexpensive in on themselves. So this jumper dress is Abercrombie. It was about 40 or 50 pounds. This cardigan, I believe is from and other stories. And so that wasn't too expensive either, maybe 60 or 70 pounds. Then we have the belt, which is probably the more expensive of the bunch in terms of pricing. This was around, I think, £500 or £600. I did get it tax-free, though, so it was all set. It's a very versatile belt, and obviously we are having a neutral colorway, which is quite nice, and there's no visible logos, which is also great. And then we obviously have the Vivaya shoes, which are, again, very inexpensive. You're talking at just above £100, if not under, using discount codes. And next up, we have an outfit that'd be perfect for an evening glam moment. And it's made up of this black satin cami top with a bit of lace detail. And then we've got this beautiful sparkly skirt that is the wow item of this outfit. And I've complemented it with the uh, Serena kitten heels. That adds a little bit of color, pop of color, if you will, with the monochrome detailing. If you're indoors, hopefully, and it's for a nice evening meal or a show or something, this is a really nice option because you might show a little bit up top and it might be strapless up here, but then you also have a nice cinched in waist. This is a high-waisted skirt and it obviously gives you the coverage down below as well because it's a lot longer. So you're definitely using the rule of the halves that I mentioned before. The kitten heels are obviously complementing it really nicely, not just in terms of the colors, but also in terms of the comfort as well because it looks like an outfit that I'm sure people think may be uncomfortable, but actually it's so comfortable. It's the comfort of basically sweatpants, especially with a skirt that's super flowing like this. And also very inexpensive combinations. I believe this top is from Abercrombie and it's probably like 30 pounds or something. This skirt I think is from New Look, very, very old, but must have been no more than 20 pounds. And the shoes as well from Bavaya are what, 120 pounds or something, maybe even less. And if you use my discount code as well, so an outfit that you wouldn't believe is expensive but really does look it in my opinion. So next up we have an outfit that would be perfect for either a day in the office or something a bit more formal in the evening and it's made up of this really cool tweed 
jacket here with a bow detail and then we've got very simple black trousers and my Vivaya Serena kitten heels on the bottom. The jacket is such a stand out piece but can you believe it? It's actually from Zara. It's an old Zara piece but they always make the best tweed jackets in my opinion that are really inexpensive. They give you the very Chanel vibe but on a fraction of the price. You can wear this open, you can take the bow off and you know I've underneath got a black satin cami but you can wear something like a you know tank top or something like that or even a turtleneck I think that would look quite nice I love the button detail I think the hardware is really nice it looks expensive the buttons don't look cheap and the overall fabric as well is really nice and high quality and I love these trousers they're from Joseph they are trousers you can actually squat in they're really really flexible Obviously, you can see the squat but really elasticated and super comfortable it feels like you're wearing leggings essentially but you could wear these as basically suit trousers and they're so comfortable and i think that the kitten heel complements perfectly with the trousers as well because they really do elongate the leg and you can actually appreciate the really cool design on the tip of the toes as well if it was a flared trouser you wouldn't be able to see it but i do think it's super interesting and i really do like it and obviously the kitten heel is super comfortable as well now moving on to an outfit which has a little bit more pop of colour. We have a very festive red as you can see. This is from Fila. Super high end feeling and looking but fraction of the price it was maybe just like 80 or 90 pounds equivalent at the time. And then I've got this like very simple turtleneck. It's got a bit of lace detail at the back. It's a very old caramelin probably around 60 pounds or something like that. And then you have these kind of like jog pair pants and these are just from Amazon, very inexpensive, like 30 pounds or something like that. And then I have my over the knee Rebecca Pro boots, which are super nice. The color complements perfectly, the burgundy, the red. I think this cardigan is the standout wow item here. All the other items are in basic black. So as not to, I guess, overwhelm. The print is, you know, speaking for itself. So everything else is very minimal and simple in comparison, but I do love it. I think you can wear this open completely and you can have a belt or something like that. You can even have a belt to cinch in on the outside and that would also be a nice look or you can have it completely closed. And I think this is a really nice casual weekend outfit or if even if you were to work casually in your office, for example, this could be a nice fashion forward option for you. And now we have our final outfit and what a great outfit to close on because it's super, super festive again with the colors and we have this gorgeous wool coat with the fur collar and the beautiful buttons in this deep burgundy or deep red and it is by Santini. I do love Santini coats, super high quality but also again very affordable. And then we've got inside a very simple red knit jumper dress. Who doesn't love a jumper dress this winter season? And I paired it of course with the very colour coordinated Rebecca Pro boots again. Super, super flattering. And I do think that the coat is super special. The textures, the fit, etc. really nice. I love the bejeweled buttons, so special. And also I like that the sleeves are shorter so that you can actually see the sleeve detail of the jumper dress underneath. With this looser bottom, you can therefore get away with a little bit of skin on your legs, which is quite a good option using the rule of the halves again, like I mentioned, and you know, having the tighter, dress underneath is a really good way of cutting through, I suppose, the bagginess or the looser fit. All these items are not that expensive. The Santini coat was probably, I think under 200 pounds. I got it during a sample sale, which is great. And then the dress is Abercrombie, maybe like 40 pounds. And then the Vivaya shoes again, very inexpensive. I think 130 pounds or something like that. So I absolutely love this outfit combination. So, so cute, super glamorous. And I just think it is such a classy way to end these six outfit ideas. So that is everything for today's video. I do hope you found it helpful in styling for these colder months. I do hope you found this video useful, especially because it can be often so hard to combine style and comfort in winter months. And a big thank you to Vivaya for sharing their footwear, not just with me, but also a discount code for you guys, which I will put in the description box below if you are so interested. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite styling tip was, if you've got any to add, as well as your favorite outfit. And if you enjoy these types of videos, also let me know down below. I would love to do more styling videos I will leave this video here. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you in my next one.